everyone, my name is Jamie and I am from the Isaac McGill McDonald campus and I'll be going over today the new pay on match process that is being implemented this, uh, this term and going over the entire customer flow from the stranger phase all the way to realization. So the first stage is when the student approaches one of your booting tables at school. So I'm going to draw a stranger and he's going to approach the, the table and fill in his info into the Google Doc and learns about your info session. And so when the stranger attends your info session, this is really your chance to give them the link of Isaac.ca so they can register and that's how they get into Salesforce. So the MC is no longer doing that, we're going to be doing that for them. If you do classroom announcements, you can also prompt um, them to sign up on Isaac.ca. So the Isaac.ca website will always be the first action item. Uh, that you show your stranger. If you use a lead sheet, whether you do boothing or classroom announcements, you can enter them manually into Isaac.ca, but I recommend you not to do it manually just because it's a little tedious. Um, but after your person is registered onto Isaac.ca, they are officially a lead. So this is what it looks like on the sign up sheet it says Global Volunteer Application with your first name, your last name, your Isaac chapter. And once they've that got, got that completed, they're officially a lead. So what happens after that is your lead will get an, email, an automated email from Isaac.ca. Uh, it goes to whichever email they provided to you in the form. Uh, and that prompts them to uh, two options. So your two options are to either one, self-match, or two, to meet with an Isaac member. So if you're an EP manager, that's you. They'll be meeting with you. So with the first self-match self option, uh, they're prompted to make an account on Expa, um, which is now known as the open stage. So that's opportunities.isaac.org. So you get the gist of, um, of Expa. You fill in your profile with your first name, your last name, your birth date and any skills that you have. So the second option is if you meet with an Isaac member and it's going to go like how a consultation works. Uh, you'll sit down with your lead and you'll explain to them what Expa is, answer any of their questions, and actually sit down to make an account with them and teach them how to use Expa. So you'll also be giving them the Isaac uh, opportunities.isaac.org link there as well. So we'll make an account together with the lead. After that, uh, hopefully it only takes a few days until your lead decides to apply to a project. Um, and when the lead applies, uh, he or she officially becomes an EP. And because your VP uh, is assigned to all EPs, on, your VP is assigned to all EPs on Expa, uh, they will get an email saying that uh, an EP has applied. then your VP can go ahead and assign EP managers to the team. So uh, however many EP managers you have, uh, he or she will assign them accordingly. And the EP managers will prep the EP for the Skype interview. And you can use this time to also answer any of the questions they have. And once they have passed, um, you wait, you pass the, um, the interview, you are in the accepted stage. After they've been accepted, um, they will be given three days to pay unless stated otherwise. So this includes any uh, family issues, any health issues, or finance issues. And then you are able to send the EP, uh, the EP online forms through an email. Uh, once the seven contract forms are completed, uh, then you will go ahead and complete the online payment process. And it's the same procedure from before with the payment. 
and then after that you can go on with your usual checklist with OPS, your expectation setting, your flight info, visa, health insurance. And once that's done, you have a happy uh, EP with a happy VP and uh, your EP will be ready for an Isaac experience. So that's it. Thanks for watching.